In today's video, we're going to be focusing on some key web design principles that will transform your designs. For number one, we've got typography. So here we have a website for a climbing center. And as you can see right now, it is looking very much like a template. We are just using Arial Black, Arial, Arial, Tahoma. Everything is a bit of a mess, so let's start cleaning that up. When it comes to type, there isn't necessarily a set selection of ones that you should use for every site. A lot of people have been using Inter recently. Inter is a great font. It does much of what Arial does, but it looks a little bit cleaner. It also works well at a low size, but do we want to use Inter on a site like this with a funky logo like this? Something like this. Now, to me, this kind of fits with the climbing theme and it's readable. It also works in different weights. So let's go with that. And we are actually gonna change every piece of text to that. Now, when it comes to the web, you don't wanna to have too many different typefaces for a website. You wanna keep it simple. So that's what we're doing. We're changing it all to canned. Instantly, I think that's looking like it's got a bit more character. So let's neaten things up a little bit and let's change the sizing of this. Let's go 64. Now, when it comes to size of type, there isn't just one set of rules. You gotta kind of play with it and see what feels right. Because we've got a regular weight here, which I think looks fine, then let's go into these and let's change these to regular as well. Now for principle number two, let's focus on color and contrast. Now this stands out a lot, but this button here is our primary call to action. So let's actually switch these around. Let's make this white and then let's make the button pink. This starts to stand out a little bit more. This here, we could change to a gray. And already, I think that's starting to look a lot more focused. Now, what stands out a little too much here is this big section here. We could have it white, we could have it black. Let's just leave it black for now, and then we'll come down to this section here. Maybe the idea is that these match different holds in the gym. Climbing gyms are generally quite colorful. But on the website, I think that looks a little bit intense. These are our primary call to actions, which will be a link so the user will know if it's pink, it's a link. So with changing just the type and the colors, I think this is already looking a little bit cleaner. Now the third principle is white space, how to make your design breathe and the information really come across. Now let's pull these call to actions down a little bit, let them breathe, let them be seen. So for moving these call to actions down a little bit, making them bigger, more of a feature, we've kind of freed up this section a lot more because before everything was really bunched up in this area. Now let's create even more space. Let's take this, this and this and let's move these down into this corner. This here is secondary information. Most of the people coming to the website, it's a useful thing for them to see, but this is what we want them to see first. So giving this plenty of space that it really directs the user's eye to where we want it to, which is right here. For principle number four, we have descriptive imagery. Now, what do I mean by this? So right now we've got this image what we're going to actually do, we're going to get rid of that altogether. Now you can see that because we've got rid of that image, it frees up a lot of space. There's a lot of white space going on here. And that allows us to have a big image in there or a video of the gym. We'll just make sure that's underneath. Just like that, this website is starting to really come together. I would say imagery when it comes to websites is one of the most important things. And that's why working on a website that has none those are generally the hardest. If you're building a website for a company that has lots of imagery, then you'll find it will generally be a lot easier to make something look good. And if we bring even more descriptive imagery into here, these sections now make a lot more sense. You can kind of get a feel for what a class might look like, you get a feel for what the facility looks like. Then we can neaten up the last few little touches. So we started off with this, we changed the type, we changed the colors and contrast. We let it breathe by fixing out the cramped spacing in this area. 
and we added descriptive imagery to really bring it to life. With a few extra little touches, we end up with something looking like this. Now the last principle that's really gonna help yourself stand out from the rest of designers is to be able to turn this into a fully functioning website. Framer is a designer's best friend when it comes to building websites. Their interface is so similar. When you're working in Figma and then you jump over to Framer, it feels very much the same. There's even a Framer plugin on Figma that makes this even easier than ever. You can literally copy and paste your design from Figma over into Framer and with very little fine tuning, you've got yourself a functioning website. I swear this has never been easier for a designer who maybe doesn't code to turn their design into a fully functioning website. Here you can see me building out this exact website using Framer. It takes no time at all. They have all sorts of elements such as videos. You can just drag it straight onto the canvas and see your website starting to come to life. One of my favorite things about it is how easy it is to make components and you can make these interactive for hover states. You can really get creative with it. Here I am just making a button, but you'll see how quick it is to do. And instantly I can see that in the canvas that it's working. When it comes to these little animations, it feels really similar to the workflow that it does in Figma. So if you're used to Figma, jumping into this will feel very familiar. And that's why I think it is such a good tool for designers to learn that's really gonna help you separate yourself from the rest. It's honestly really easy to use and it's fun too, so definitely check it out. Use the link in the description and use the promo code FRAMER25INFLUENCER and you can get 25% off your first three months with mini and basic site plans. I hope this video was useful for some of you guys. If it was, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys soon with another video. Bye.